I am going to perform a laparotomy for the removal of the obstruction located in the small intestine. So history of this bull mastiff dog is that he had stopped the feeding and taking all the things uh, in the last 14 days and uh, has tendency to vomit in the morning. So the animal is vomited every time in the morning from the last 10 to 14 days. He had been treated at some uh, by some doctors and uh, doctors kept on with the fluid therapy and other medication and they suspected that this animal could have some uh, surgical problems. So they referred, we examined the animal physically, we palpate the abdomen and uh, find that uh, there is some uh, round uh, structure is present in the intestine. Then we go for the radiography also, although the radiography is not much revealed because the foreign body could be a radiolucent or maybe a mango kernel then after that we suspect suspecting that there could be some foreign body in the stomach so for that we also perform a varium series but uh, in the stomach i don't think there uh, will be any you can say foreign body but still since when it is a rule that whenever you go for the laparotomy with the intention to exclude the intestine and locate the foreign body in the intestine we should also examine the stomach so i will give the incision you can say post G foid. So I start little bit. You can say from here to here. So, so take in. So this animal is dehydrated because the skin is very tough. This because fat is also lost, you can see here in this animal, otherwise normally you will find a lot of fat in this region. So because of the animal is dehydrated, not only you can say water properly and vomition is also there. So because of the dehydration, so there is no much fat subsequently. So now this is the linea alba. See the here you will find the below and we open so we extend the incision definitely thermocotry would be helpful here but since we don't have the thermocotry or uh, electrocotry rather not thermocotry My intention is to explore the abdomen also. That is why I am giving. You can see here, it is not, you can say, the peritoneum is still intact. It is most time on the scene. Peritoneum, you can see here, the peritoneum. We have cut the, you can say, rectal abdominis muscle. So, peritoneum is here. This is here. So, I just lift a little bit here. In fatty. In large breed animals, sometimes it's happened. So it just okay. You, but you should know the anatomy. Sometimes it is separated. Sometimes it's cut in the single. can see even the falciform fat also reduced otherwise in such a breed it could be you can say occupied up to this level you can see here the we don't have the ball for abdominal detector otherwise that is very very important for the any abdominal surgery you can see the distension of the this intestine so that could clearly indicate that so this is the kidney. And 
this is the obstructive noise. So I guess for the and you just see the nature. Whenever there is a obstruction in the spine or in abdomen, the momentum is basically wrapped around this one. So we can see here the nature, how nature we can say want to protect the any obstruction in the intestine. So you can see here the momentum is wrapped around the this is intestine. So what I diagnose by the history that this animal could have eaten the mango mango kernel. Now it let's see whether it is eaten mango kernel or something else. This is the and that is the, that is the why after doing even the you can say intestinal surgery we used to put the momentum or momentalization. So you can see the intestine. So intestine is okay here, but slightly you can say here it is bluish. So you can see it is passing, but it is not. You can say so it is 14 days old. So it is not able to pass properly. It is in small intestine. So that is why. So this is then once I should I I I also have to prepare the stomach just to rule out there's something in the stomach or also although by the radiograph and contrast radiography that is varium series nothing is we, nothing, we, we couldn't found anything in the stomach so stomach is okay no problem Liver low. Tightly we should examine the you can see this one probably not also. So we should examine idly. We just examine the you can say to do this. So this is the cecum here, you can see this is the cecum, it's a C-shape, so it's fine, okay. This is the, so I examine thoroughly in the abdomen, duodenum, and I'm not examining the, this uh, colon because there is no obstruction in the colon, colon is very clear even over the radiograph. So the next is procedure is to removal of this mass and then suturing. So uh, you can see here this is the obstructing mass. So we should put the you can say normal saline here. So if you don't have any assistance, it is better to keep the one red and you can see tangentially and the, this and this is water and is pro for that. So now we try to give the incision away from the obstruction because the, this is the already you can say uh, bluish area. So this is the basically almost it's not healthy. So it is better to either we make the incision here or here. So whether see whether it is yeah it is going here. So it's better to make the incision here. So you can see here it is rupturing automatically. So that is why
so we give incision here yeah it must be the mango kernel now let's see whether what is coming okay that's what If you notice properly, then during the say, milking, so there was tear. So probably the nature also knows that okay, if this will move, definitely there will be tear over the you can see anti misending water of the intestine. So that is why this foreign body is not moved. You can say, and even after giving the you can say like jetty and other things, the still uh, there is a problem in this. So that is why such cases uh, we should, you can say, perform on the same day if you diagnose, uh, particularly if the history that the duration is 8 to 10 days, yeah, 8 to 9 days. So we start, the, you can say, suturing. So this is the one tier, small tier during the, you can say, milking of the. So I am going to cut and change the plan a little bit. So this is the basically longitudinal incision. So there is, I do have the apprehension of narrowing. So it's better to repair in the transverse. So for the transverse, we start with the hair. So this is a good technique when if you having doubt of the, you can say narrowing of the intestine, particularly when you are going because I go for the you can see three layer the last layer one is maybe the one or two hosted suture this one two okay then so this is the longitudinal incision and repair with the horizontal so it will increases the lumen diameter the incision was starting incision was this one and this one and we have started from the mid one of the this side from here and here so now the longitudinal incision the cranial and caudal commissa united here in the midway now we go for the second layer so I check thoroughly and I think it would be better if I put one more suture here in the form of because this area is definitely a problem for the yeah so the bone for the leakage. So even after switching this one, two layer, three layer, so still there is a leakage after melting. And moreover, this is a necrosed one. So even I tried for the first simple uh, repair in the longitudinal, then in the transverse, but still there is some problem in necrosis area. So I decided ultimately to perform the, you can say, uh, I resected the this much intestine, and now I am going to suture the, just like a intrusive substance. So that will be better, I think better than that. We should not take any chance. Because this animal is 14, uh, having the problem in the 14 days. 
So maybe the first one would have been the right one, but decision is decision. So I have once took decision, so so now I am going to repair in the Even after the section you could see here the margin is still not healthy, seems to be healthy. So it's too much we can say damage to the intestine on mucosa. So this is a simple continuous suture for the anastomosis into anastomosis. I started from the mesentery body and then suturing the first half of the lumen. Starting from the you can see mucosa and then going through the whole thickness of the one intestine out with the serosa, then entering the cell from the serosa to the other end and then ultimately then coming to the serosa, uh, mucosa of the other side of the intestine. So this is how it's going on. So repair of intestine is very very important decision. There are so many factors which decide whether you go for the particularly in case of obstruction. If obstruction is long standing, if uh, because once in this time you can say late, it's very very difficult to I don't have the intestinal joints clamp or joints intestinal clamp here. But still, it can repair. So sometimes the time increases because of the your intraoperative procedure is changing. This one seems to be better, intestinal lumen, all things. Now you can see how quickly I can say now how the next half of the intestine is repair with the repairing with the from serosa to serosa.
unfortunately uh, we couldn't succeed in enterotomy even i tried for the uh, enteroplasty means uh, suturing the longitudinal incision into the horizontal but uh, that causes you can say at the junction of they can say both commission uh, even after two layer repair uh, uh, there was a leakage a little bit so i then ultimately decided to cut the you can say affected area and then uh, sutured into into this is the first layer i have applied this one is because of the application of the you can say back of force here so slightly you can say here is a hematoma but that will not going to problem so it is perfectly sutured the first layer but i also you can say apply one more layer for the security purpose so since we don't have the this 1020 is vicryl we have demanded only one so now i am going to suture in the the second layer so second layer you can say suture it is you can say in the pushing pattern so that is very easy and we routinely you can say doing the in the similar fashion in the large animal into subsection so now it's become almost I can say bite here in the serosa. Slight narrowing is also you can see it can. Because in large animal we remove, you can say, much healthier part. But here in the small animal, it is seems to be difficult. I hope now this will definitely. Focus properly, not so please. It should be only in shape. This is the extra precaution. We take another. So this is the whole chart suture. So here if you want to give further support, just like this. Okay, that's fine. Wash properly, wash properly, wash properly. This one. So this is the momentum. So the next procedure is I will go to and see which other this. momentum with the 
over the intestine, the repaired part of the intestine. So that is very important, omentalization. So that if even if even if the one drop leakage that will not going to harm in this case. So you should not you can say fear the intestine wall anymore. Better to you can say incorporate with the this mesentery. Procedure you can say convert it. If you have to change then I just put the micron all in this abdominal cavity, one bottle and one bottle attached with the drip set. So now you can see a little bit, you can see the corrugation is there in the distal one. Vascularity is okay. There it's okay, fine. So whatever is basically all time is can say taken into the So we have successfully removed the um, mango kernel and repaired, although we tried to repair, uh, um, that is by can say simple continuous suture, that is the enterotomy, but we failed. Then even the enteroplasty, that is the suturing of the longitudinal incision into the horizontal one also failed. And uh, we found in, in doing surgery that uh, the tissue is not, you can say, viable and there is a fragile. So we just decided to cut the, you can say, affected area and we perform the into and anastomosis in two layer followed by the, uh, this, uh, omentalization. So which is very important. So now, uh, the, the things is closure of the, this leprotomy incision. So this is the large breed dog. So normally in a small animal, I preferred with, you can say, number one, polyglactin 9-10 in simple continuous but since the animal is very big you can say it's 42 kg keeping in the view that it is off weight from the last 14 days to so definitely their weight probably would have been 48 or 50 so for such animal I always you can say prefer the simple interrupted so we cut with the can see see there because
So we should not, you can say, uh, start and end with which become default. Is sufficient and that is the ideal. You can see how nicely the knot is lying on the one side of the incision which is not exactly over the incision that should be you can say keep in the mind while repair the yeah, putting the suture the first layer in simple interrupted So during the second you can see closure, we should take the bite in between. Finally, I continue with the subcategorical suture pattern. This is the subcuticular suture somewhere. I have also taken the bite intradermal. So, such suture, if you see the cosmetic appearance of this suture, so headed mean you can say animal, there won't be requirement of the skin suture. But since our patient is animal, so we can't rely on the animal. So, even if you, the subcuticular suture is very fine, the alignment is good, as good as it is. You see, even without you can suturing the, with the skin, but still you have to apply few suture because animal may you can say bite, lick.
keep the knot inside you have to take that dehydration skin become tough tight suture dealing with very modern simple interrupted suture so you are suturing with this stretched down needle it's made up of hypodermic needle the first knot you keep there you can say very So this is the fine, we have completed the procedure.